Can you tell us a bit more about the concept behind Ubuntu TV? So the concept for Ubuntu TV is that it shouldn't matter to the end user where their media comes from. What all they care about is where is, is the media they want to watch. So our system will allow them to aggregate all the online providers and return results to a single interface, allowing them to browse the, the content that they're looking for, rather than having to scroll through hundreds of different apps to find the, the media they want. Um, and also it should be embedded inside the television rather than being an, another input. So that way we can get rid of all the boxes that live under the TV and a lot of the remote controls as well and give a, a single unified interface. How do you compare Ubuntu TV with other smart TVs uh, from players like Samsung? Sure, so um, our, our interface is a lot is beautiful and it's very smooth and we differentiate ourselves by being uh, well designed and the user experience is that much more uh, fluid and dynamic and uh, beautiful. From what I understand, there are two components uh, of Ubuntu TV. One is the hardware on which it will run and second is the services. So how do you plan to bring Ubuntu TV to the market? Who are you talking to? Sure, so uh, Ubuntu don't make products themselves, we make the, the software that goes on them. So we are speaking to OEM manufacturers right now to arrange uh, various different products to come to the market which we expect to see by the end of the year. Uh, and for content, we're, again, we're meeting with all the content providers, we're setting up those relationships and we'll have something in place pretty soon. If we look at the smart TV market, there are a lot of players which offer their own smart TVs such as Samsung, LG or Sharp. Uh, what benefits do they get from Ubuntu TV? Uh, why would they choose Ubuntu TV over their own solutions? Okay, well, so uh, what Ubuntu and what Canonical can do for these people is take away the burden of writing the software, maintaining the software, pushing out updates. We've already got 20 million users out there. We support software updates for all of those guys. We can support another 20 million TVs on top. So we are experienced in managing and writing in good quality software which will take a lot of that uh, burden away from the manufacturers, allowing them to concentrate on the hardware, which is really what they do. I will give an example of Samsung. Their big Android player, still they maintain their own uh, mobile operating system, which is now Tizen. Now, when they have their own uh, matured smart TV offering, why will they consider uh, a solution by a third party, uh, such as Canonical, instead of maintaining and developing their own in-house solution for smart TVs over which they have complete control. Yeah, so it's, it's the same reasons really. I, they're producing something like Tizen and then maintaining it, testing it on all the various hardware is a huge, huge burden. Uh, it's a huge, huge amount of work. Um, we are experienced with doing this. We've got a lot of experience running, especially on embedded hardware on ARM devices. Uh, so we, we've got the experience, we've got the know-how um, and we can provide a better, in my opinion, a better service to these guys. People want to consume content uh, irrespective of the device. So how is Ubuntu TV going to be integrated with the other devices such as smartphones or tablets irrespective of the platform? Absolutely. So we've got a full second screen strategy. Um, the place for browsing the internet is not on the shared screen on the TV, it's, it's in the palm of your hand on your smartphone or on your tablet. So we will absolutely have a second screen uh, experience where you can browse content, look at uh, the synopsis for what you're watching, browse around it via Wikipedia or IMDB, uh, program the EPG. All of this will be able to be done from a, a handheld device in your hand and there'll be a two-way data flow between the TV and the device. The device will know what you're watching and allow you to search around that intelligently. How is Ubuntu TV going to incorporate uh, online streaming services such as uh, Netflix, which requires some kind of digital restriction management on DRM? Sure, so, so DRM is something that we're going to have to support. If we want to watch content, we have to support DRM. That problem is not going to go away. We are happy to engage and support DRM on the device if that means that our users get the best content available. How do you plan to implement DRM in Ubuntu TV? There's a couple of ways. Um, some of the, the chips, the, the boards that you buy to, for a TV can support DRM in hardware. 
uh, which is great because it takes away the, the problem of doing it in software. For those boards where that's not supported, then we will write DRM codecs uh, and fully integrate that into our media playback. What kind of William partners are you looking for Ubuntu TV? So typically, the, the sort of engagements we will, uh, we will uh, get will be the, the lower end of the market, the small players um, who, uh, as we said, are, are not able to um, build and support their own software stack. So they will come to us and we can provide that service for them. Um, the Samsungs and the Sonys of this world, as you said, they've already got a huge investment and it's a big deal for them to think about changing from the software they've got to a different stack. Maybe one day when they see how awesome it is, they'll change their minds. Canonical has come out with some great projects such as Ubuntu One or Ubuntu Music, uh, but I feel that it fails at converting these projects into successful profit-making products. So how much confidence do you have in Ubuntu TV that it will become uh, a successful profit-making product? I, I am confident about it. Uh, I think that it is uh, a neutral player in the market. We don't tie people into any particular service provider. Uh, and I think that that's very appealing to uh, corporations who have been uh, scared by the Apple and the Googles of this world becoming so big and so powerful. So I really think that there's a, a gap in the market for this product. Uh, we've already announced that we're working on tablets, that we're working on phones, that we're working on TVs. So these products are coming and they will be brilliant.